What's going on? Move the mouse here back in City Skylines, the town of Rosewood. Season 10, episode number 15, and was since the last episode, <laughs> things have been terrible. So uh, I loaded up my save on the Xbox upstairs in the bedroom. And I figured if I was going to grind to 90,000 and not record it, because it honestly is going to be a big, boring grid, that I could just I could do that anywhere. So I loaded up my save upstairs. And then got to 90,000, grinded for a while one night, and uh, came back downstairs to the Xbox One X that I normally record on, and it would not load my save. So the other thing is I'm, I'm kind of dealing with some awful, awful frame rate issues on the Xbox One S that I was not having before. Um, but also, um, here, let me show you what I did. So we're at 90,000 pop. We've unlocked everything, and uh, all I did was move in a ton of real, basic, boring grids. Spammed in schools, at least elementary and high school, police and fire and hospitals to kind of encourage people to, to move in faster. Uh, and it's all office space, commercial zone, and high-density residential. I want to do something fun today, and that is break out this massive bulldozer brush. And deleting an awful lot of uh, what was oh, what was built up, and apparently a lot of highway too. That's all right. Uh, the thing with this, we're not going to be able to put out, uh, put out. We're not going to be able. Hang on, I'll more, more on that in a second. We're not going to be able to demolish city service buildings. So if they're, could be real careful. Oh, the sensitivity is like there's a dead zone on the, on the stick that I'm playing with, as you could probably tell. So. We'll come in here, we're going to delete all this. This hopefully will improve some of our frame rate issues. I just deleted the trains. Didn't mean to do that. So we'll come in here, we'll delete as much as we can. We'll come in and clean up some of those things that are closer to the edge of the map. Oh, like that. We need to rebuild that anyways, right? So all this is going to go anyways. So we're fine there. Uh, yeah, there's a couple buildings that we can't put out. Uh, can't put out. There were a couple buildings when I uh, test demolished this that were on fire. It looks like we lucked out this time. Looks like there was a fire starting there. It's probably going to spread to a building. So, um, for all the city service stuff, you have to come in and and manually delete and confirm every single one of them. So, um, and then some like this, if they are. Uh, full if they're on fire if there's any condition preventing you from bulldozing you can go over and uh, And collapse them if you have natural disasters DLC if not You've got to empty buildings like this before you disconnect them from the road network So keep that in mind same thing if you use dumps in this case. We're using recycled plants so we can just Delete those but that is fun to delete uh, at least intentionally a large piece of your map not so fun when you do it accidentally um but let me go in there, clean up all those excess buildings, maybe fix that train track, and uh, I'll be right back. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, the population also went from 90,000 to 18,000, so we're negative 71,000 population growth right now. Um, we'll definitely hurt our budget, but we're also spending a lot less, not maintaining all those roads, and uh, soon all those city services that I'm about to delete. But again, I'll be right back with a much cleaner version of Rosewood. All right, so there we go, we're back. We've got all that junk in the background is gone. Um, I dropped in one building. That is the train station and hooked that in on the loop. On the loop. I, don't, I looped it in. It's not. There's no loop yet. That train just barely touches the corner of our map. Uh, I turned the building off for right now because we may not build that, but I want to... This is future project. So I sketched out a couple ideas also with the district tool, which is we want to have kind of a cool relief or, or some sort of four-way interchange here. And we're going to direct traffic up this kind of rural road. We'll have you know a couple spaced out farms, and we'll have the train tracks up here. And at least that won't spread, I don't think. <laughs> um, and then there was some other things that I was thinking of that we could do. Um, 
This one might be a bit of a stretch, but I think we can do it. And that is, you see how this uh, this lip kind of runs over here. I meant to, to draw more attention to this too. The high rise band offices don't go over this height if they're down there. So we definitely could do that. Um, I'm just not sure about it. I'm still not sure about it. But uh, but what we I thought we could do over here, we could try is to raise this land up and have a bit of a mound here before the edge of the map. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it would work. I'd love to hide that interchange that we cannot change. This one over here. Um, that'll be a project maybe for later, but that's why this district is kind of kind of want to raise the land up here and then fade it down. Maybe have tunnels there so that when we're looking from, you know, over here, we don't see that interchange. We see like a little mountain and uh, and tunneled highways coming out of it. Um, it might look all right. It might look the part. The other thing is this view up here is really cool. Now that we've unlocked uh, all nine tiles, we're doing a three by three square here. I'm not sure why, why it was animating the edges like that, but whatever. We've got plenty of room to expand, and I did the most basic of frameworks along uh, out here, right? So... We've got a couple little areas where we can put some more residential population. Uh, we're going to kind of have this sparsely populated, almost acting as a highway. Uh, I figured we could have a little bit in here by the water. And I wanted to continue this over on the hillside here. And uh, and do a little bit more residential pocket in there. Maybe something over this way. I don't know. We've got, we've got room to expand. Um, what we've got to think about, though, is what to do with the highways. So this needs a complete top to bottom rebuild. We don't, we don't need really the other half of that there. Um, I think we could funnel most of the traffic into that zone from over here. Uh, what we do need to work on is this line of traffic over here that's all turning left to go into the city. They need another way in. Um, you know, do we... Do we cut back some of Greenwood? Do we reclaim this neighborhood for, for highway progress? Is that too close to the other one? I mean, I feel like it is. I think we could solve some of that by making this a more robust route and maybe a direct exit off the highway. So let's let's do that first, right? Let's try and get people off of this exit and down to this exit if they're coming down this way. Uh, we'll try and get it hooked up right up here or right into this highway. Let's uh, Let's see what we can do though. So we'll go into our roads. We're going to do off ramps and we're going to do snapping all the way down and freeform. You know what? No, we'll do straight first. So where do we want this? I think it could just kind of tunnel in right there. Let's make it a uh, two lane highway, I guess. That should be sufficient. And I take it back. Let's do regular roads first. That we can kind of pick an angle here. If we come off this one straight. That's actually pretty good right there. If we come off at... At about an 80 degree angle, that works. If it'll ever let me snap to that angle again. Come on. You have to come a little further out to... I mean, I could turn off angle snapping. That would be nice. But we will take it. Uh, I'm... You know, in retrospect, I just realized something. I don't have angles on my game on the Xbox One X. So I think I just figured out my problem for sure. I suspected it, but I was added into the beta program for Sunset Harbor so I could access it early. And uh, and I don't have angles, so I'm pretty sure I did not get a game update that I was supposed to get. So I think I'm still playing on the, the day one release of Sunset Harbor and dealing with those issues because I just realized that it's odd for me to have angles on console. I don't have that on Xbox One X. So, all right, anyway, side note, we've got a road that's relatively perpendicular. I just did that to kind of line that up here. Uh, 
Let's do this. We'll come over the highway first. A little straight shot. And we'll leave ourselves some room to expand. And then we're on the, the single um, the single tick elevation step. Let's see what that looks like if we come down two per 20. Wait, was that two? That was two. Good thing we have money to play with here. That's two down. That's tunnel. So where can we make that relatively smooth? That looks okay. That could work. So from here, can we connect straight? You know, do we need to fuss and curve it? I don't think that we do. So now that we've got that, let's go to the regular curve tool. We'll give ourselves space on this one. Uh, oh, hold on. Uh, if we come out, let's say 15. And we do two clicks down over that. Let's try that. And we'll come out about 10 and a click down. Do I want to turn the snapping off? <laughs> Let's turn all snapping off. Let's see what that does. That probably makes making some flowier Intersection's a lot easier. It does make it so it's easier to miss the um, easier to miss the nodes though. Uh, tools snapping. Come out twenty five about or so. I think. I don't. Inter intersections and interchanges are not my. Uh, <laughs> Not the thing that I'm best at. And certainly not on console. I don't have the patience for it. Highway exit basically set. Now we got to go underneath and kind of tunnel that in. And for that, we can use the actual roads. We'll upgrade these after. So let's see. Where do we want to go to? So where is that? That exit goes all the way through there right now. Let's pause and delete all that. Lose a couple cars in the uh, process, but that's okay. Bulldozer doesn't delete anything on top. I've seen it do it before. Um, roads, highways, and freeform. Um, let's do this. Let's do this a little different. So, what is this? this is a national two way highway? We 
We'll do something like that. Now, these people are not going to be so happy, so let's clear some space there. So there's a little bit of a buffer from the noise. We can fill that in with some trees later. And let's dezone those, what, four plots? Five plots? That works. Now for this one, we'll do what? This is two lanes coming in. So we'll just let them be two lanes underneath. That's fine. So it's not the prettiest thing underground. We could turn this last segment into a one lane. Get them to pinch underground where we won't see the traffic backing up. And then that feeds them back into this highway. There's one intersection here. And there's no traffic lights or anything. But there's very few intersections. It's a highway. It's not zoned. So people aren't stopping on that road. And it should carry traffic over here to this side of the city. We'll do another highway exit over here. I started to frame out some ideas. Um, just very basic. But hopefully that will help us a bit. Let's, um, let's go upgrade our roads accordingly and change our directions where we need to. I think I've mentioned this before, but the when you define this, when I switch this to a one-way, it's design a direction based on the, the way it was drawn initially. So let's come in to note roads and change directions. That one. So directions wise, that's good, but we didn't do these. Okay, so the tiniest of changes, we've provided a direct highway route to over here. Maybe we clean this up a little bit. I don't know. I think it's okay. It's okay for what it is. What we need to do now is let's throw it on three times speed. Let's see if one, if this generates any traffic. Two, if it relieves what's happening over here. Uh, it should be a lot better now that we've dropped 70,000 people. There's a lot less people trying to move around the city and we had no transport options to the high density area that I had created up on the hill. Uh, I pulled up info views not to stare at electricity, but which actually reminds me speaking of <laughs> Speaking of or not speaking of but, but getting distracted by I did drop in a nuclear power plant uh, We needed it for all those people now you can see we've got way 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 more electricity than we need so uh, In the interest of budget, I think we can delete all of these I'm pretty sure I didn't check first, but Yeah, we're still running like three times capacity or Three times what we need. Does that need to be powered? I don't even... I don't even know. Looks like it's spreading everywhere, so we're good. I don't think we need this. Right? Is that... The, the, the stations don't need to be powered. The stations, the um, fire watch towers. I don't, I don't think that they do. Man, the, fr the frame rate's so bad on the S. I can't imagine if you're trying to load up this city on a on a one X, or not a one X, an OG original Xbox. I've got one of those in the house. I've not played this game on it, man, in, in years. Thanks to the S and the X. Come on, where's the where's my fire department? Yeah, I feel like the frame rate is really choppy. I apologize for that, but. 
Right now, this is the only way that I can get this game to load. So, one of the things that we'll need to do is a, a complete rebuild. This this gigantic football stadium should not be right on top of Main Street. Uh, but we did get to prestigious on our university. I doubt we'll be able to maintain that now because we moved out so many people. Yeah. So we are going to lose that. That's okay. Um, I was idling, not even trying to do anything, and uh, I got the achievement for having 5,000 students for profit education, uh, basically everything supported by tuition. Uh, the way that I did that was by leveling up to level 5, but I used a ton of these. And I think I recorded this on one of the episodes. I, I dropped in a ton of the book clubs just to meet the... Um, requirements they have very low upkeep comparison to some of the other buildings you know the academies are thousands of dollars um, but most of them are you know in the four hundred dollar range some of the fountains and stuff you know those are cheaper um, but I think the book clubs are pretty cheap to put in and they help with the overall attractiveness you know they don't necessarily help with the education there's nothing but book clubs um, you get that with a, a prime membership, but uh, cheaper than a tuition. Uh, sorry, jumping around all over the place today. There's so much stuff to do. College is going to be one of those, and I think I'm going to bring the sports up over on the other side of the highway. But we got to at least get that away from the main street. I got to try not to move the camera around because every time I see that frame rate, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's going to come through on YouTube. That's how bad the frame rate is. Um, I haven't seen frame rates like this since Portsmouth Season 7 when I was running on a probably an underpowered PC for what I was trying to do at the time. Um, let's let's take a quick flyby. Maybe it'll it'll jog some memories, spark some creativity, um, and we'll give it a minute for the, the traffic to kind of start thinking about that um, that new exit. None of these clover leaves are staying. We'll be getting rid of all those. Uh, this was all kind of temporary filler for expanding the 90,000. But now that we've got everything unlocked, we've got monuments as an option. We've got unique buildings as an option. That actually reminds me that some of these, although we may look at dropping a few of them in to maybe do something like the Eden Project. If we look over here, you know, let, let's look at what we haven't dropped in yet. Statue of Industry. Okay. Statue of Wealth. You know, these are relatively small. Disaster Memorial. Things like the Burden Bee Haven, Climate Research Station. Those all... Can I can I get that one click? There we go. Uh, City Arch. Of course, we need to drop that in. You know, some of these, uh, for me, are, are no-brainers. Like, if we look at level two, we've got to find a spot for this thing. Absolutely love this. I think that might be right perfect in the, like, the main entrance of our town. Uh, but there's other stuff that... I'll waste some money here. This does not belong in our town, you know, and we might drop it in. What's it a requirement for? For the space elevator? Nope, we don't need it. So that's the good news. We don't have to drop in anything that's space elevator requirement. But I would like to maybe do Eden Project and maybe the Ultimate Recycling Center. I think those are the two monuments um, that I'd like to have in a city like this. So Fusion Power Plant, we don't need it. We're not going to have that many people. We'll be fine with, with nuclear power. It's a lot more cost efficient uh, than nuclear power, but we're already going to have to back down one nuclear power plant for the build that we're gonna do. I don't think we're even gonna be able to run that at full budget. So running the fusion power plant, although it's more effective per dollar, I think it's gonna be more expensive because you can only turn it down so, so much. Space elevator is for bringing in tourists and we'll bring in whatever tourists we can, but we're not gonna put a gigantic needle to space. Um, Eden project, this could be pretty cool and it's pretty low profile in comparison to some of the other ones. Um, it's got a decent upkeep cost. I don't think we'll need medical center. I don't think we'll need the collider. We can support the energy, the uh, education needs for our city. Uh, I'm not going to do Doomsday Vault because I'd have to do the scenarios for that. But Recycling Center, I think would be good. Maybe Chirpwick, but but I don't know. We'll drop in some of these. Let's go find a spot right now for the uh, the clock tower. In fact, I know where I want it. I think we're going to put it right in the center here. But we're going to have to move... Hospital, fire, and police to do that. To give it its own little area. Where was that? Man, the frame rate. It just chugs. It's having some problems here. 
Uh, let's move it. There's a little bit of a noise bubble. You can see it just gets into the... Um, what's what's centered better? I think that one. Love it. Now, is this space zoned? It is not. I think we'll leave it unzoned. Maybe we'll do a couple little park paths. Maybe a, a little playground or something. But that could be very landmarky for the entrance to our city and hopefully one of the tallest buildings. This needs to get out of here for sure. And I've been meaning to put more up here on the hill. As long as the noise doesn't uh, affect the people below. I'm okay with that. I don't, I don't even care if it passes power to anybody right now. Before, before I head out, let's uh, turn these off in the short term so that we don't waste money. Uh, actually got an idea for this one. I thought this would be kind of cool if we can fit it in. Where is our campus? What if this is like a campus entrance arch? Like right there? Is that right on top of... Can we get this over any more? We can't, can we? Really got to reconfigure this uh, this entire campus. We'll move everything off to the other side of the river and, and start placing it in one by one to to fit it in a bit better. It's just so crammed in. There's so many book clubs, so little room. Uh, but now we can have like this little archway, which could be kind of the entrance to our campus right here. So I think that's kind of cool. Maybe we could, maybe we could change this to a regular road, uh, grass line, so that there's no parking on it, and do it here instead. Let's take a look. Let's see what that looks like. It's going to be less efficient for, for moving. Uh, no, that's that's changed direction. Let's try an upgrade. Uh, and then we're probably going to have to move this to move this. But I think that's got a much cooler look. Let's see. Uh, let's see what that looks like coming in. In fact, why don't we see? That is not the button that I meant to hit. So we'll zoom in all the way first person drive. Cut some people off here. Oh, that's a that's a two-way. And my driving is absolutely terrible. <laughs> Taking down trees. So I like that. I like that. I think that's pretty cool. Let's uh, fix that as a two-way before, as a, a one-way road. Before I forget, and we have people coming back up that road to get on the highway. There we go. So yeah, so it slows traffic down, but it provides the exact same service. And I think it gives us a really cool look with that archway as you enter kind of the campus property, which is really what you're doing over here. Sure, okay, some people are turning around, I guess to deliver, or maybe pick up goods from the recycling. Do they send it back to industry or, or export it? I think that they do. Um, we'll move this out of here, the water, and get that all. So water intake is gonna be here. And water sewage is going over here for now. We might bury it. We might just leave it on the side of the hill. You can't really see it from over here. Unless you're at kind of a, a good angle. But we've still got those problems on the tram stops. Or I should say trolley bus stops. Um, you know, transport something we can definitely look at. But we're going to keep things relatively small. And, you know, if we've got a decent portion of the population willing to wait at a trolley bus stop, whatever. Let them do it. Um, I'm really going to start focusing the rest of this build on the aesthetics and, and rounding out little parts of the town. So I think episodes are going to be a little different. They're not going to be as much of a how-to and more of a why I'm doing it this way, what it looks like in the greater scheme of things, how it fits into my vision for Rosewood. Um, but I mean, they'll, they'll still be, you know, uh, they'll still be some step-by-step. -step. It's just, I think it's going to be a little different, uh, especially if I can't get the save figured out and I have to keep dealing with this frame rate, I think. Uh, it's unfortunate, 
but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep troubleshooting it. I'm pretty sure I figured out the issue though. I just gotta I'll reach out to, to, to Paradox and and see if I can confirm it. But uh, thanks for staying tuned this long. If you did, likes really help. And then the button's right there. Come on, hit it, please, please. You did already, right? You didn't stay this long and not hit the like button. There's one person they commented that they stay. They love the videos, but they hate that I use ads, which right now is my only source of income. Um, and they said they will dislike every video that uh, has an ad on it. So, um, so if you dislike the video or dislike the ads, hit the dislike button twice to really let me know how much you dislike it. But if you enjoyed it, likes, comments, shares, they all help the channel and they are all greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe for more and hit the bell to get notifications for updates in this and other series. Join the Discord if you've got questions. Great group of people over there and we play on every platform. So it's a lot easier to keep up with, um, or I shouldn't say keep up with. It's tough for me to keep up with the comments. Uh, there's a lot of people that are willing to help over there. So check that out. If you want to support the channel, links to that and all those other things in the description down below. But until the next one, when maybe we'll move some of the college campus around, I think. I think that makes sense for our next, uh, our next big project. Until then, this is Moving Mouse, signing off.